Hello. Two years ago, more than two years ago, it was in March 2023, uh, I created a few videos explaining how to turn a Surface device, a Microsoft Surface device, into a working Linux tablet. Um, I don't have much time these days to produce new content. I have small children. They're more deserving of my attention than a Surface Go 2. But a quick update here um, with a lot of good news. So um, I didn't produce anything because no news is good news. Uh, in the meantime, I installed um, Linux, uh, so Ubuntu, standard Ubuntu, on uh, I think five devices in all. I'm a teacher and I have a larger one. It's a Go, it's a Surface 5, I think. I use it every day. And just to tell you that my old guides are still relevant, they're still okay, but things have become way easier and there are a few things I want to um, to talk about. So let's start with the Surface Go 2, the 10-inch device. Um, my guide was designed for the very slow version. Um, there is another one which has become way cheaper in the meantime and that's the Go2 M3 version. It has a different processor and more RAM and it's, um, it allows you to, uh, to actually uh, keep things basically as they are out of the box. So um, for every Surface device there's one thing you need to do that's to to add the new kernel, you go to the GitHub website, Linux Surface. Uh, you can see the link in the video description and then you have to, to install the kernel there and to, to get everything working. Basically, uh, the installation is the only thing that can get in the way a little, um, especially for the Surface Go 2. There is this thing where you need to reboot it from Windows first. So you need to boot into Linux from Windows. I mean, you need to boot into the stick, so the USB stick, um, to get the installation going, even if you have changed the BIOS settings correctly. So that doesn't really work as expected. You can find everything in the previous videos. Um, and then, okay, you, 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 you just have to, few, you have to install a few extensions to, to allow for the small screen size. You can see a screenshot here. There are just two extensions which are read needed right now so I wanted to keep the number of extensions as low as possible. Um, for all the other devices it basically works out of the box once you have the kernel installed and of course you can change things ar around a little but um, things have become way easier so you don't even have to deactivate SnapD um, you can still follow my guide if you want to tinker a little bit and if you want to improve things slightly and tune the system. But um, I also, there are a few devices where I didn't do this anymore um, to save the, some time because the, the devices are powerful enough. And so the only thing to remember here, okay, if you can, if you want to use a Go2, get the Go2 M3 version. Um, it costs around 200 euros nowadays so in 2000 and 2025 um, and then you're good to go so um, running Linux on on a tablet is not a problem anymore well not on on the surface devices anyway so if you get refurbished ones older generations they work out of the box um, battery life is good normally there is a bit of a difference or when you compare them to to Android um, tablets of course they're, they're heavier which is a bit of a drawback. Uh, and if, if you want to install stuff, the, the touch drivers might not work, so you need a USB hub, you need a, a physical keyboard, a physical mouse, and then you should be good to go. Um, so that was a bit of an update. Um, yeah, bye.